It started when the grey attacked. It began with the grey in the sky, transforming it into the predominant color, routing the celeste from the sky, the blue of the night. Everything was grey. Then it descended to the colors of the earth, to the chocolate, to the coffee. It invaded green, first an olive green, then a grayish green, to then gray. And it assaulted water, the water, fresh, crystalline, and transparent, transformed into a miasma of perturbed green, to then leave deathly gray. It also affected people, on the outside and from within. Only the most crazy, the bards, then the singers and the children, only they remained laughing. Until one afternoon, the craziest of them all summited to an old ship of rusted wires, and from there, singing an ancient sailor song, managed to lift off and navigate towards infinity, propelled by the last laugh of a child. When he finally arrived out somewhere, he walked on the sand of a beach and turned. Over there, far, far away, he saw his land, his moon, now gray. He advanced. When he turned once more, he saw that from his steps surged a path, and from his hands birthed flowers. And he continued wandering, searching for that path that would be his. He wandered the plains, the hills and forests and the rivers. He was a hunter with the wolves and prey with the deer. And finally, in the apex of a mountain, he found a tree whose shadow he could rest under, and from whose fruit he could eat. He matured as fruits mature. And when he rose to continue, he finally saw his path, the golden spiral that he sought. And traveling it, he finally arrived at himself, and could live with the windows open to dreams and to the birds, and with doors open to receive and to share.